in this problem, we have to find the reaction forces of each of the pair of the wheels A and B. And the force in the cylinder CD and the force at the pin E. So the mass of the loader is about 1.18 megagram and it is acting at the point G1. While at point G2, we are given a mass of 300 kg. But to see if to find the reaction forces or the other forces, we can use the weight instead of the mass. So first, in case of the tires, we can apply movement at point A. So we have the weight that is acting at point G, that is 300 multiplied 9.81. And you see, we are given a perpendicular distance of 1.5 meters. And you see, uh, this force is moving in anti-clockwise direction. And in case of the weight of the nodder, we have 1.18 multiplied 10 raised to the power 3 multiplied 9.85. And you see we are given a perpendicular distance of 0.6 meters. And you see you can get this distance if we subtract 0 0.15 from 0 0.75. And we are have we have a reaction force at the wheel B and we have a perpendicular distance of 0 0.75 meters. And you see the weight of the loader is acting in the clockwise direction with respect to point A. So uh, the force that is acting at the wheel B is 3.37 kilonewtons, and this force is acting on both wheels. And if we apply the force in the vertical direction, then we have the weight that is acting at a point G2, the weight acting at a point G1, the upward reaction force at point A, and the upward reaction force at point B, which is 3.37 kilonewtons. So the force that is acting at a tire A is 11.1 kilonewton, and this force is acting on the also on both wheels. And in case of the upper parts, you see we have the cylinder and the pin E. So first, uh, we can take the cylinder CD. So you see that this cylinder makes an angle of 30 degrees with the x-axis. So you see we can apply movement at the point E. So we have the weight that is acting at the point G2 with a perpendicular distance of 2.75 meters. And the force you see that is acting in the cylinder CD is negative because uh, this force is moving in clockwise direction with respect to point P. E. And you see, we are using the sine component because we are using the vertical force and we have a perpendicular distance of 1.25 meters. So the force that is acting in the cylinder CD is about 1.9 kilonewton, and this force is for both cylinders. In case of the one cylinder, we can divide this force by two, so we get 6.47 kilonewton. And in case of the reaction forces at the point E for pin E, so we have the horizontal force at point E and the horizontal force that is acting in the cylinder CD. So you see, in case of the horizontal force, we can use force component. And this is the force in the cylinder for both cylinders. So we get the reaction force at point E in the horizontal direction, which is about 11,214 newton. And in case of the vertical reaction force, we have the negative force at point in the vertical direction, the 
rate that is acting at point G2 and also the force that is acting in the cylinder in the vertical direction. So we are using the sine component. So you see, we get the vertical force, which is about 3,532 newton. And you see, in case of the resultant force that is acting at the pinny, we can take the magnitude of the horizontal and vertical force. So we get a resultant force of 11,757 newtons. And you see, there are two members. So if we divide the force by two, so we get the force for one member, which is 5.88 kilonewtons. 